Hey budgeties, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my my name is Mo. You guys, it is 2022. Happy freaking new year. I am just so excited. Um, you would have thought that I won a million dollars, but I'm just feeling like there are endless possibilities, you guys. I'm feeling like 2022 is our year. We paying off debt. We saving this money. We're going to be happy with whatever career field we're in or whatever career field we choose. Y'all starting up these businesses. We making lucrative income. Like, I am excited for 2022, you guys. Ugh, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know. I'm just literally overexcited. Anywho, in this video, um, it's late. It is because it's already January, um, but here we are. I need to do my January budget for the month. So I'm going to go ahead and use my budget planner that I'm using for this year. And I'm going to do my my goals for the month. I'm going to do my um, expected kind of sort of income because I'm not exactly sure how much my checks are going to be. My expected side hustle. And we're going to go through these bills. If you have already know, then you already know. But if you're new here, again, welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope that um, the community, Paper by Mo community grows. Um, we have more budgeties, more friends, more, more of us creating channels. I'm just excited. Like, it's just giving me abundance. I don't know. Anywho, if you're interested in watching this video of me budgeting my January budget, make sure you stay tuned. Okie dokie. So first things first, when you open, if you have a paper by Mo budget planner, thank you for supporting. If you don't, uh, I have 15% off on paperbymo.com and the 2022 challenge um, planners. They're digital for now. Um, they are also on sale. So make sure you guys go check that out. Shameless plug. Okay. So first things first, if you have a budget planner, you know, we can write in these numbers for the month. So I'm going to go ahead and just write in my numbers. The first was on Saturday and then second, third. So I get paid for my full-time job on Thursdays. So it'll be this Thursday. So I'm going to say paid. And then I'm going to say paid. So let's just put down here West Wig. And with West Wig. <clears throat> I noticed that like a lot of people organize their checks based off um, which one is highlighted. And I'm thinking like I want to start doing that. So I'm going to say first PC and then we're going to say second PC. So first is going to be green. And then my second paycheck is going to be pink. And then on top of that, we'll go ahead and do blue, which will be side hustles. Side hustles. Okay. So my rent is doing the first so there's that my um electricity bill i think it's doing the 12th so i'm gonna put electricity bill on the 18th is my life insurance um and then rent is obviously due on the first of the next month so i'm not gonna not gonna put that there and what else do you got Life insurance, electricity bill. Oh, my internet bill is on the 22nd. Internet. So I pay all my bills from one check. So this gonna electricity bill is going to be paid with that check, life insurance, and internet. It doesn't even matter if the next check comes. <laughs> Not doing it. Okay. Boom. Then I'm going to get... Hmm. There is going to be no side hustle income, I think, from this one. So I'm going to start on the 10th. And I'm going to do side hustle paid, side hustle paid, side hustle paid. And then whatever, I usually don't pay bills with this, but I'm just highlighting it for the sake of being transparent. Okie dokie. 
that's that all right so now let's get into these pages okay so i have to-do list on my budget planner um, monthly to-do list some people think it's useless i love it um but i don't always put it on camera that's just the truth of the matter so what i'm gonna do is obviously it's a new year but it's the same mo just saying um not because i don't want to be better <laughs> of a person i just feel like i've been working on myself all 2021 and then i want to say so one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to say daily sales. So then I can come back and I really, really, really want to like be held accountable so I can go ahead and make videos and keep you guys posted as we go. So I know for a fact that Sunday I worked out so I can check that off. <clears throat> okay, moving along. Now we have our monthly goals. So for me, they're going to be, so they have goals, we have strategies and we have extras. So first things first, I want to save $600. Do I really? I think I really do. And for me, it's, I'm trying to have a grown woman savings account. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to put towards my debt another $600. Um, daily sales, paper by mo. Daily sales. I'm putting the work in, y'all. I have been like creating TikToks and reels and getting to the money. So, or trying to at the very least, God willing. <laughs> um, I definitely want to make sure that I do my weekly tithes to to the Lord, to God. And um, I want here's the one that I am reaching for the moon and the stars, but I think it's possible. I want to have a side hustle income. The amount of $700. That's what I said. That's what I said. 2022 is another beast. And I'm we on the money. So I'm not going to do the strategy or extras because porque, like, we're good. We're good. So let's get right into this budgeting. Um, let me get my calculator. Okay. So calculator is here. So if you see my last... Um, check that i have for 2021 which was december <laughs> january hope i spelled that right you would have saw my check was like 1600 dollars. so boom your girl is gonna go ahead and say it's gonna be about 1600 dollars per check i'm not exactly sure I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna be more than that we get a little raise at the top of the year and um i told you guys previously i kind of stopped putting towards my um, 401k for personal reasons. So I'm going to say I'm starting off with zero and I'm my income one, which is my full time. Um, I'm going to say 3,200 because I'm 1,600 times two. I'm going to get paid twice this month from full time. So I'm going to say 3,200 and I want my income two, which would be my side hustle to be 700, right? Did I say 700? Yerp. <laughs> Yerp. Okay. So 700 it is. So that's going to be $3,900. I am budgeting out $3,900. So first things first, your girl got her bills. So my rent, I'm hoping it'll just be $1,290. If you are new and you're like, how you going to hope, girl? So <clears throat> my rent is like $1,220 or something like that. But I have the water, the sewage, and all that stuff. So there's that. And then my electricity bill, I actually already know how much this is. It is $53.51. So my actual is going to be $53.51. And then we have the internet, which is 71 and some change. I'm going to say 72 because I don't know it by heart. We have life insurance, which is $9.50. Actual $9.50. And then... My phone bill, which I just pay my mom for that dollars, and I make ya holla. Okay, so let's just get right into it. We got twelve ninety plus fifty three dollars and fifty one cents plus seventy two plus nine dollars and fifty cents plus forty. So my bills are budgeted out um, one thousand four hundred sixty five dollars and one cent. So now we're gonna subtract. 3900. Okay. So my remaining is going to be $2,434.99. Okay. So 
Another thing is I know previously I would like just keep my budgeted income separate. I mean, I'm sorry, not my budgeted, my side hustle income separate. And I am going to do that. You're not going to see them on the checks. But I think for me, having everything budgeted, like this is my expectation. So then when I go back at the end of the month, like, okay, demo reach our expectation or an all. That is kind of where I'm going with all of this. Okay. So over here, we're going to do like save-ish. <laughs> So my savings that I said I wanted to save, how much I said I want to save? I think I said 600. Yeah, save 600 and debt 600. That's going to be my EF, my emergency fund. So I'm going to go ahead and put EF and we're going to put 600. Then I'm going to do my IRA because I haven't really done that in a minute. And that's going to be $50. Okay, and then I'm thinking, I'm thinking my investment fund which I reached $1,000 last year. That was my goal. I probably should update you guys on this stuff. So that is going to be $50 as well. Let's think. Anything else? Anything else? That's it. So this savish is going to be $700. Oh, I'm lying. My his and hers. Me and my boo are getting back at it. It's going to be $100 per paycheck. That's $50 a week. Does that make sense? $50 a week. Also, if you want to see the his and her um, budget printable, it is on paperbymail.com. So $100, $50 per week, $100 per paycheck, which is going to be $200. We back on our grizzine. <laughs> so that's six, seven, eight, nine. That's going to be 900. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Just want to make sure. So the total is 900 and we're going to take that away from 2000. So $2,434.99 minus 900. Make sure I did this right. So $3,900 minus $1,465.01 equals $2,434.09 minus $900 is $1,534.99. So that's going to be $1,534.99. And then we're going to move on down hither. And I'm going to do my um, sinking fund. My student loans. What else do we have? We have gas. Your girl got to eat. That's called food. <laughs> um, let me think. Let me think. Mm, mm, mm. I think that's it. Sinking loans. Sinking funds. Student loans. Oh, and you know what? We're going to do taxes. Just due to the fact that I'm incorporating the 700 that I'm hoping to get. So for student loans, for sure, for sure, for sure. I'm trying to get the 600 um, gas, like including the extra money. I want to say 200 food is 200. And then um, for taxes, I'm going to do $70. I'm just, let me think it out. Let me think it out. Okay. Yeah, so then the rest will go to sinking fund. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seventy. So that's one thousand seventy dollars. But let's just add up six, eight, a thousand. Uh-uh. Hold on. Six hundred plus two hundred is eight hundred. Eight hundred plus oh, I put five. Okay. Six hundred plus two hundred plus. 200 plus 70 okay 1070 um and i'm gonna minus five one five three four dot nine nine that's 464 dollars and 99 cents so i'm gonna just say 460 okay 464.99 so that means there's gonna be a total of four dollars and 99 cents left $4.99. So let's add this up. We got $460 um, plus $600 plus $400 plus $70 equals $1530. Okay. It tracks. So these is my goals. This is what I'm trying to do. You're probably like, girl, why your ticket fund so high? 
She got her, um, what I got? What you got, girl? Oh, my car insurance is in there. I really need to start beefing that up. You know, your girl trying to beef things up. But my goal from now on is to put just as much in my savings as I do in my student loans. I do want to pay off my student loans, but I also, she's trying to get some money when it comes to these savings. Um, also, in my sinking funds, now I have my home funds. So there's that. So yeah, pretty straightforward. I'm about to work my butt off. Your girl is trying to get to it. I'm trying to have paperbymo.com daily sales. So if you're interested, make sure y'all go check out paperbymo.com. Get this 15% off. Um, send it to a friend, to a friend, to another friend. Buy budget planners, printables. She got cash envelopes now. I'm about to go ahead and get the cash binders up and posted. This, these um coin jars will soon be posted as well your girl is out here so make sure you guys like make sure you guys comment make sure you guys subscribe go to paperbible.com support that um and i will see you guys in the next video bye